squeezed in here. In fact, we've had some rather frightening swaying on the far side where the shutting supporters crowded in. I think they would have to get a shoehorn to jam them in there even further. Willie McStay. Bottom of McLeod. Inviting ball in David Nettie's behind that. And just coming in at the back to him. The very menacing form of Brian McClear. Bottom of McLeod to pick this. Up goes a big figure of McGuigan and it's in there. I think it was McClear who got it. Both McClear and Mo Johnson went for that. Not that the Celtic supporters are particularly caring. And that excellent start. Three minutes gone. And who got the final touch? Both of the strikers went for it. It was a kind of cooperative effort. Well, Peja, why don't you take the choice? But I think McClear is claiming it clearly. One nothing. And coming so quickly in a match of this kind, it gives them the basis of self-confidence. Beautiful move by Celtic. Here's Scott. Ian Ferguson. Straight run, Gallagher. And very good, solid uh, backstabbing header there by Derek White. Cannon. <laughs> United, no doubt, will continue to play very cruelly. That is their style. One of the most difficult teams to ruffle United on the game. Easy one for Aiken. And Celtic playing little triangular and confident movement. But not too confident in defence at the moment. That's Grant. Johnston. Mother McLeod. McStay. He might let fly. Hesitates slightly. And Bannon back in defence. Mother McLeod. A lot of skid in that. Billy Thompson firmly behind it all the same. Bannon did that very well. Redford. Stunnock. Our Celtic defence looks very watertight. Stunnock. Bit too obvious and here is the break. McClare. That's Grant asking for it. Good piece of running by Celtic. Intelligent move there by McClare, dragging out the defence to the right, and then waiting for somebody to come, come up inside him, and in this case, it was Grant. Took his time about it, rightly so, and there was Grant. He could only get a sweep at it. Very good effort. Willie McStay. It's Grant. This will work by Grant now. Modern McLeod. <laughs> Balanced by that. Gallagher, that's a superb ball by Bannon. Here's Gallagher. McGuigan with him. And that's a brilliant pass. And Celtic remain cool. Superb piece of play. Emanating from Eamon Bannon in midfield. Outside of foot piercing the defence, allowing Gallagher a little bit of freedom, and although eventually he was harassed, he did sweep it over, and that really stretched the Irish international as goalkeeper. Defence that's looked extremely nervous, 
suddenly finds himself two down. Over it went, right through the legs, and bang. And Celtic can hardly believe that that has happened. David Neary again. Johnston looking sharp. Whipped away though by Paul Hegarty. Will it make stay? Bannon. Bannon is the kind of player who can control the match if he puts his mind to it. Although it's going to be very difficult for United to get back in against the Celtic defence it's looked extremely good, well organised and sharp. Ferguson, Gallagher, hasn't shaken free of the defenders, and the confident enough sweep across there by McGugan. Day. Next day beginning to spread it around intelligently. There he is again. Shepherd. Shepherd. Something running it around. Next day does very well. Walking, foraging. There he is. That's an interception. This could be an interesting break. Gallagher. No. The pass was impetuous. Roy Aiken breaks. The Shepherd. And back by David Neri as McClare goes in. A hopeless run there by McClare. Celtic in command. <laughs> Off the back of the head. Eamon Bannon. The next day, beautiful touch. The only element today, Paul next day. <laughs> Under the cloud. The depth of the balls of the goalkeeper. Ought to have committed himself, I think. Too much Malthus. Here's Ferguson. Neat little layoff, false start. That's a hopeless ball by Redford. Uh, if I were false start, I wouldn't be too happy about that kind of ball. Dragging defenders. Oh, that's a penalty, surely. Oh, dear. Looked like it to me. As United again were handing out gifts. Gallagher. That's obstruction. And I think there's going to be a booking for Paul McStay. Well, as I said, it, it did look a penalty. It was a gift by Dundee United, a, a very slack ball indeed. And uh, Danny Went has seen a penalty being awarded for a lot softer than that. Right into the sun again. Hegarty is up, there's Bannon. Tries to go for it again, it'll be a throw to Dundee United. And what they would give for a goal in this half. We're on the... I think the whistle has gone, yes. There it is. Something like deservedly leading by two goals to nothing on a day in which charity certainly begins at home because the Dundee United defence has been rather dreadful. I don't think anybody could object to that description. Found wanting even in the first goal with two strikers having an opportunity 
to put it away. I think in that cooperative basis, McClear just at about 60% of it. And that was the first goal that Billy Thompson's conceded since August the 16th. The second goal, well, if you're on a United player watching it now, bow your head, look at that, absolute gift. And uh, Paul McStay made no mistakes. And if you make no mistakes in front of a goal like that, then you go in leading by 2 nothing, and looking very confident. Celtic kicking down the slope. And I would imagine that Mr. McLean at half time was trying to do a lot of sorting out, especially amongst his defenders. Uh, United the two goals behind, and yet they did play with a bit of skill and flair in certain sections of the first half indicate that if they really got the game together then they might pose some kind of threat to Celtic but they've made it very very difficult for themselves good running by McLean again look at the way he went right in behind that defense good flick though by Morris Johnson that Shepard McGugan is up Grant after this, nice ball there by Ferguson to Ralph Milne, and the ball goes away from him. That's McClare. Beautiful run around the outside, he might get the corner, no, throw it. And the Celtic support love the way this man attacks the defence. Thompson. Well taken by Thompson. This is Shepard. Beautifully stroked out there. Next day. There's the header and Thompson's down. Part of a cloud busting his way through. Sturrock. Gallagher. Lovely ball by Gallagher. Feels by Bannon. Good move by United that time. More poor in the Waynes. Must be the Bruins up there, I think. And isn't that a shame? Realize it can't get to see the game. Oh well. Hegarty, that's a useful ball. Ferguson. Again, McGugan, very good in the air. Ralph Mill. Neatly touched off. Here's Paul Sturrock with a chance. And a good save by Bonner. That really was a clear cut and distinct chance for Sturrock. Good goalkeeping. Nice move by United. Delicate ball through. And a big goalkeeper using his legs well. well that's a poor shirt. And uh, Gallagher didn't like it either. <laughs> there's Sturrock. Milne, good move by United, and there's a goal. Ian Ferguson. An excellent move by United there. Much more like themselves. 20 minutes gone. Top progression surely released there with that swift thrusting move and it went deeply laid off there was the shot by Bill wasn't good enough but look at that finish by Ferguson and that's why Jim McLean brought him to Tannadice now that makes it a very interesting game indeed I mean to be absolutely honest with you I think feel that United were going to score in this match. It was one of these days. Nothing going right for them. Celtic in ascendancy most of the time. And now only one goal in it. And tidy out there. And so is that. I think the play will stop. He has free kick. Very quickly taken. Gallagher. No. Been well marked by White. Mid 
midway through the second half. There's Roy Aiken. There's Gallagher with it. Benitez to Foxes. Gallagher touch across. And Bonner takes it out of the air. So easily. But more of United. We saw nothing of this, in, or very little of it, in the first half. Just the, the hint of it every now and again. And now they're beginning to string the passes together. Side. He's a lot of players coming up front. There's Paul Scott in with a chance, and he's done it. Oh, just passed. Brilliant effort by Scott, and a superb pass by Avid Bannon. Then look at this. He judged it, he held it, and forward it went. And there was Scott. Good judgment by Scott. It really was under pressure. He was so unlucky. And certainly, United now have a grip of this game. And so long they appeared simply to be going through the motions. Waiting for bodies to get into that penalty. And there's a run by Mary. And what's, I think it's a goal kick. There's a brilliant run by Mary. What you call in the modern game the hidden run. Nobody noticed him coming forward. Well, not until the last second. Through he went. And Sturrock had the intelligence to hold on, let him get forward. But he wasn't far off that. Derry, there's Beaumont. Good move by Beaumont. The pass doesn't match it. That was a bit slack. Grant, Celtic, for the first time in the afternoon, beginning to look unsettled. He just put it away anyway with Clare's free away to his right. That's a good ball. McClare. Johnson running off him. McClare. McAnally. There's an excellent ball to McLeod. McGuinness goes in for the challenge. McLeod! Right across the face of the goal. McClare dabbing it through to McLeod decided to really let fly decided he shot a goal and it was very close straight out by McGugan Gallagher here's Malthus no he's in a very shaky effort Got to get that one, it does. Bannon, putting a ball for Bannon. David Neri. Sturrock. And back, none too confident with uh, by White. Now, uh, Bowman is on. Bowman, who came on and uh, played very usefully in uh, midfield last week. Ex Hearts player, of course, with internationalist. Paul Sturrock. Free kick. Oh. Was he annoyed? Fan and beautiful play. Sturrock. Oh. Everybody missing it. And Celtic retained their poise. Next day. Grant is screaming for it, and Mount Morris Malpas this time in very good position. I think somebody's not going to be able to sit down for a fortnight when they go home. Bit of slice in that. Here's, oh, there's a chance for United. And a brilliant save by Bonner. He came from nowhere. Oh. The initial mistake by Aiken really put them under pressure. Away went Sturrock, and look at that inviting ball there. 
it came loose there was a shot and Bonner came out of the dark into the light and Celtic is still in the lead there's a touch across and Bowman is there we have a Bowman and a Bowman whenever the twins shall meet Slack and McGuinness. McGuinness has had a very useful game indeed. Bowman. To Bowman. To McGuinness. There's a neat touch to Sturrock. Just a bit too much on that. Here's Ralph Milner's ball side. Can he put it away? He can't. It's in now. The equaliser. Gallagher. so much possession of this game in the second half they really made a meal of it though did they not it seemed to go on and on and on this effort to, to score there was a breakthrough with the Celtic defence got flat that was the chip there was a header and then eventually Gallagher threw the legs McAnally trying to go in I think the referee has blown in any case and we are in for a very interesting last five minutes Gugan Hegarty and there's that hesitation in that central defense again something they have to sort out Malpa is putting it forward Stunnock here's Bannon Stunnock Bowman down, Gallagher after it, two minutes left, Gallagher, Mill, a really roasting finish by Dundee United, they've risen magnificently to a challenge that quite frankly I thought was beyond them at half time but the manager certainly sorted them out, Alphys, and there goes the final whistle, a quite astonishing game,